What's good? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name's Noah, and this channel is all about improvement and creativity. And if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. I have another wall, another mural project. In this video, painting an astronaut. There's a musical collective with uh, various musical artists in the city, and they're opening up a recording studio, and they just wanted a bunch of different artists to come in here and paint the walls and they hit me up and so so we're here a lot of their branding has to do with space themes astronauts and so that's what they wanted for me they left it pretty open just wanted that space astronaut theme and um, as someone who kind of identifies with astronauts like man on the moon growing up listening to kid cuddy and never really feeling like i belonged uh, this was right up my alley and uh, I enjoyed the process, I enjoyed the uh, imagery and just the whole painting process. The, the colors, painting all those purples was, was a blast. And so that's what we got in this video. But first, let's check in at the wall, give, give you guys a little update as to what I was thinking in the moment, and then we'll hop back into the commentary. Word, well, finally going to settle in, I'm finally wearing the appropriate attire, wearing the uniform today. So it's time to buckle down and actually knock this thing out. I've kind of just been toying around with it. Got to do some, just some background stuff, laying all that in, do some of these mountain ranges. But the goal is to just knock out this background today. Tomorrow we'll come back and just focus on the astronaut. So let's get to it. The topic that I wanted to discuss is in reference to a book that I was listening to while I was painting this wall. I know a couple videos ago I mentioned that I was working on a reading list, still am. My whole website's getting a revamp right now, so stay on the lookout for that. But the book I was listening to was called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. And he brings up this fable or parable whatever it's called about the goose that laid the golden eggs and simply put it's about a farmer who finds an egg made of pure gold in his nest um, the goose continues to lay an egg a golden egg every single day and soon enough the farmer gets rich he assumes incorrectly that there's gold inside the goose so he slaughters the goose and looks for the gold obviously doesn't find anything but in turn he just killed his source of income because of greed because of his lack of patience because of all these things and so in essence he felt to take care of the one thing that was producing the thing that was making him wealthy the thing that made him successful and um my practice, it applies directly to whatever you're doing. If that's art, if that's just a job, being a parent, in so many ways, there is a product. And that's another thing that he brings up is this P and PC balance. P is the production and PC is the production capability. It's, a, a, it's twofold. Covey writes that true, effective, true effectiveness is due to two things, and that's what is produced and the capability of the production. So you and me, especially as an artist who, in order to create something or to paint a mural or make a, a painting on a canvas, it takes manpower, it takes my time, and what I produce is directly correlated to my capability. Um, but what I took from this is more so the, the stewarding of my body like as a vessel and as the thing that is going to allow me to continue to have longevity. I've, to this point in my career, kind of prided myself on being prolific and uh, just trying to produce as much as possible. And I mean, my, my whole motto is I'll give out grind and I, I, don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I still think time and um, just work is the thing that separates people from talent, you know? So I'm still going to work and 
just devote as much time as possible to my craft. Just need to find that balance. And the way that I think I take care of myself more is becoming more efficient with the time that I am awake, getting the sleep that I need, but not wasting time on things that are not going to aid me in my goals in the long run. Um, whether that be social media, watching like random crap on YouTube, or just, just random time black holes. And um, he also uses this analogy of a car. And he says if a car is running well, you don't disregard stopping to get gas. Because if you don't get gas, the car's gonna break down on the side of the road. Not even break down, because it, it'll still work properly if you feel it, fuel it with the right things. And us as humans are the exact same. We need to take the time to take care of ourselves, to give ourselves rest, sleep, and um, this is something that I haven't been the best at, and so that's why I think this stood out to me so much and why I'm sharing it with you guys. Um, what does that look like in your own life? How can you take care of the goose to allow yourself to continue continue to produce those eggs or keep your car running using using the analogy like I said I've kind of prided myself on that for for a while so as things move forward I'm gonna try to be better about that and um, we will see how it goes but in reference to yourself what do you think is your golden egg for one what is the thing that you do that is unique to you, that you feel no one else can do. And um, how do you take care of yourself to continually produce that? Maybe drop some of that down in the comments. Hopefully this resonated with you. And if it did, let me know what your, what your golden egg is and the steps that you're going to take to take care of yourself better and mind, body, and soul to continually produce it for not a year, but five or 10 or 20. 40, 50, all like for the foreseeable future because uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. This YouTube game, art, life. My, my brain constantly just comes back to artwork because that's the world that I live in. But hopefully me sharing these stories, if you're not an artist, you can take the, the lesson and apply it to yourself. But there's a little bit of time left in the video, some final shots, some close-ups, and uh, I'm just going to let the video play it, and uh, we'll end the commentary here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. Share it if you uh, think someone could benefit from it. I think this has some decent information in it that um, if someone is pedal to the metal like myself maybe they can learn from it or maybe send them the video or send them the, the audio book or maybe you can uh, check that book out for yourself but either way yeah like the video share it if you if you enjoyed it and um, take care of yourself mind body and soul and I'll see you in the next one